This tutorial is to show you how I came up with a workaround for the Tyler tool not working on the Lightworks beta program. I'm opening the program of movie, Windows Movie Maker and I've already got a project started here so I just opened that project. I'm going to go ahead and show you a few of the buttons. Here's where the button is to add a new uh, credits or title page. And it's, it's a limited titling tool but it's uh, basic basically and it, it does get the job done if you just need a basic titling tool. You can change colors of the font, the size, you can change the background color, you can change the fade in and fade out styles. So here you see I'm going to go ahead and make a change to the background color and show you some of the different slide ins that are available. There's adequate amount here to, to do something if you just need a basic Tyler tool like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and save this project as is. I just added this new panel to it and the other ones I've already done previously. And once I save it I'm going to go ahead and export it and I'm going to go ahead and save it as high def for de high def display. Here's where this video is going to show up as a WMV file which of course the Lightworks editor program doesn't recognize. So once that's uh, done converting or done processing, I go to Freemake Video Converter, which is a free video and audio converting tool available on the internet, and then open it up and bring that file into it as a WMV file. And then I'm going to go and convert it to an MP4, and I'm going to use custom settings and make sure I have the MP4 selected 30 frames per second because that's what my project size is going to be. And of course there's where the resulting is going to wind up at. Once this file is converted, I'll be able to take it and use it into the uh, Lightworks program. So go ahead and start up Lightworks here, running as administrator of course. Once I have Lightworks open, I'll go ahead and go into one of my existing project screens. I've already built a couple of bins for this tutorials. First thing I need to do is import the video I just finished making to an MP4 video without audio. Um, when you do that, it won't let you bring it in with audio anyway, so I always do it without audio. I'm navigating to find the file. There it is. And go ahead and select it. I am going to transcode it to the AVI format coming into Lightworks. This works much better. It doesn't freeze up when it's in the AVI format. So now that I've got that selected, I'll start it. And I already have a bin in a rack set up that has the tutorial stuff in it so I'm gonna open up the uh, tutorial projects bin. Haven't put anything in it yet. This will be the first thing I put in it. So I'll just drag it into the bin so that way it'll stay on the projects where I can find it. I'm gonna open the open it up on a timeline and then I'll be using it. Go ahead and play it just to see that it all loaded in properly which it did. So I need to open an edit now to actually do my project in. So go ahead and stop this. I want to find my mark and park areas. This is what I'll be marking out at. So go ahead and put the park sign there and go back to the beginning. I don't want that first panel that I built so I'll just go ahead and Scan forward till that ends, and this will be where I want to start the new. There it is. It actually has a slightly different color, so I can tell that's where it starts. Mark that as the end part. Open up a new edit. I'm going to rename this edit so that I can keep track of it, of course. And it doesn't want a name. Hang on a second. There we go. So this will actually be the. Uh, project that I'm going to do, which is uh, this will be for the title or workaround tutorial. So now that I've got my edit ready to use, I'll go ahead and mark in. 
slide in that marked and parked section from the original Tyler that we developed. So now I have it in. And the ending of that was the credits, of course. The ending credits, they come after the product that I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do close these out of the way and I'm going to open up a video that I already have on here on another project I was working on. And I'll just pull up some video out of there to use to make this example with. I'll use the last one there. Go ahead and open its timeline. And I'll mark and park for the entire section of this. Now that it's marked and parked, drop it into the edit timeline after the opening credits or the titlers. Make sure I have record on the one that I needed there. Got it loaded in. And now that I have my video, I need to put my ending credits on. So I'll go back to the strip that we created using the Windows Live Movie Maker. And I'll go ahead and go back to where I left off at. Clear. And move forward a little bit to the start of this one. This is where the ending credits come. Find a good starting point for that. Mark and park the section that I'm going to use. Mark it in here. Mark it out here. Now that it's marked, drop it into the timeline at the end. And I've completed this project. The title ring tool itself in Windows Live Movie Maker, again, is kind of limited, but it does serve the purpose if you need just a general basic titling tool to use while you're using the beta Lightworks that doesn't have a titler available at this time, for the free program anyways. And I hope this is useful to you. Just going through the different slides to make sure everything lined up right, and of course they did, so that's the end of the video. Thank you very much.